Um, next, I want to uh, tell you about the first couple things I want you to, to change and update. So first and foremost, let's uh, go to, um, let's see, where do I want to go here? I want to go to uh, settings and general. Now, right here, uh, you, the title of your website is my blog. And the tagline, or the um, you can call it the subheading if you want, or the subtitle, um, is just another WordPress website. I want you to change that. So you're going to change this to whatever you want to call your blog. You can always change this in the future, but this is um, you know Sean's uh, uh, Roadkill Research or something like that, or sh or yeah, so that sounds good. And then. Um, my journey to find dead critters or something like that, right? Okay, cool. Now, whenever we configure something like this, we want to make sure it's saved. So we want to hit save and have a look. Now up here, instead of saying my blog, it says Sean's Roadkill Research. Cool. Okay. So first, we're going to configure those two things. Next, I want you to... Um, do a, uh, a, a your first blog post. Now the posts and the pages function very similarly, very similarly. So let's do our let's first add a page in here. So I'm gonna come. I'm gonna hit this dialog box. I'm gonna say add new. I'm gonna say my test page or my first test page, right? Something like that. Okay, and I've just put some, I just pasted some text in. All right, so here we go. So now we have a title and we have some uh, text. Now, uh, this used to be a very simple interface. Lately we've gone, or, or the, the um, popular thing is to create, uh, to edit in what are called blocks. So instead of just having a bunch of text, we have these different units in our writing, and each of those units can be configured. If I hit this plus sign here, we'll see some of these different examples of, of things we can, um, we can edit, right? So we can add quotes in here. We could embed a PDF. We could add some uh, you know, different paragraph indentations, all, all kinds of stuff like that. So you can play around. Key thing, every single blog post has to have at least one multimedia item. And so I'm going to come here, let's say I want this is where I want to put my multimedia item, let's say, I can come down here, I can insert an image. Now when I hit image, I can either go to my media library, or I can actually upload an image which will which will both simultaneously put it in my uh, page here and add it to my library. So let's try that. I'm going to hit upload. And I am going to find an image here. And I'm going to upload this image and there we go. Now, all, again, everything is configurable. I can um, crop this image. I can um, uh, make it be a particular size. I can, um, I can come over here. I can uh, uh, change the dimensions of it. So if I want to have it be consistent, I can do all that kind of good stuff. Best practice here is to also add at least a caption. So this is, uh, or, or something like salt marsh. Something like that. Okay, so I have a little caption. If I didn't take this picture, right, we want to make sure that we say the source is, you know, XXXXX if it's not us. So we're properly referencing stuff. We want to be able to make sure that we're, um, uh, giving people all the information, taking all the advantage that we can of our, uh, you know, cool um, uh, online world, a, a link to a, a, a web page somewhere. I could also link to something within my uh, blog, but I, but in this case, I'm just going to link to an external site. So I come up here and maybe I want to um, insert, uh, uh, maybe that's an example of peer collaboration or whatever. I'm going to select the text, click this uh, link thing hit paste, best practice to open it in a new tab, and then I'll hit this return arrow, boom. Now I've, now I've inserted a hyperlink here, perfect, great. So I've, I know how to insert text now, I know how to insert images, um, maybe we wanna insert a video. And come right here, 
and I am going to insert the video. And there it is. So now uh, the video is embedded. Now, f the, the best thing for when you have still images, when you have um, uh, uh, regular pictures, go ahead and insert that into your media library. You can also insert a video into your media library, but that sucks up a huge amount of um, memory and your amount of space that you have uh, is, is limited. So the best practice, if you wanted to do a video or a long audio clip, something like that, that that's, uh, you know, lots of, um, it takes up a lot of memory. Um, the best practice is to embed that somewhere else. So say upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, something of that nature, and then put a link to the video. Um, that'll work just a lot better. Okay. So we've been able to insert a page. We've been able to, uh, or excuse me, insert you know a page here with text. We know how to put hyperlinks in here. We know how to embed an image and a uh, video, etc. And we can just say, then I can say publish, publish. Sorry, and we're all good to go. Now, if I come back over here, check it out. Now I have a new page here because the, my pages are all listed up here at the top. So I can click that and I'll, I'll be taken to my page and there's all the stuff that I just worked on. Pages are very similar to blog posts, but there's a couple different things that we're going to need to do with our blog posts that I want to um, highlight really quickly here. Let's go back to our dashboard. Let's add a new post. Okay, so here, here's my new post. Uh, uh, just finished my data analysis. Woo, great. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So I've done all my cool stuff. Every time we do a, a blog post, we need a, some multimedia thing in here. So maybe I'm just going to um, insert a um, video. Maybe I want to. Maybe want to put that video. Maybe that's really key for me. So that would count. An image would count. Um, if we are going to insert an image, um, we're going to need an additional image, though. So if we already have one image, we're going to need at least one more. And so what do I mean by that? What I mean is um, I want to make sure that our um, uh, blog post has a visual cue into it. And this will make sense in a second. Before I do that, though, actually, sorry, there's one more thing I want to do. Um, so your blog posts, at least two paragraphs, at least one or two paragraphs, but really better. Um, the longer, the better, right? But, but at least, at least, you know, a good amount of text here and writing that text. Um, sometimes when we're trying to, uh, sh showcase this, say on our landing page, lots of text can make it hard to, um, to, uh, easily display. So what we're going to do is after the first two or three sentences, I'm going to click, I'm going to go over here to where it says, to where this tool says uh, more and click it there. Now, when we see a summary of our blog, we'll just see this top part. Okay. And then once we click the full blog, you'll be able to read the full blog. So, so that's a best practice I want you to always do when you are working on your blog. Okay. And then, um, uh, a couple other things to finish this off. So we're going to come over here. Um, uh, now, to finish the finish this off, we want to make sure that we have that so-called feature image that's going to be a summary of that. So I'm a summary of your blog. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click this featured image thing. I can either upload a new file or I could just use one of the one of the images from um, that's already in my media uh, library. Now I'm going to set this as my featured image. Cool. All right. Great. Um, there's some an additional step here that you'll need to do, but it'll it'll make more sense in a sec. Um, uh, for now, we'll just leave it though. Okay. Other things we need to do is we need to make sure we have the right um, uh, metadata associated with our uh, with our blog post. These are the broad categories. So all of your posts should fall into one of these categories: some kind of news, some kind of update when you're in the midst of doing your work. Um, some one of your analyses, maybe something about some of the classes, something you're learning in a class or something of that nature. Um, 
um, these are broad bins. So these should cover lots of different um, posts. <clears throat> now you're welcome to add an additional category, but every single one of your posts has to have at least one of these ticked, okay? This will help with organizing down the line. Now, in addition to that, there might be additional things. You might want to have some additional uh, uh, tools that'll help you relocate this or help somebody that's looking for your stuff locate them. So again, this is like metadata. Now we can do this by simply uh, typing in these phrases. Maybe this was something having to do with San Diego. Hit return. Maybe this is something that had to do with GIS. Maybe this is something that had to do with um, uh, a regression, right? Maybe this is something that had to do with an endangered species. It doesn't matter, whatever it is, right? So you can go ahead and add all these tags on here. So all your blog posts need to have a featured image, need to have um, you know, at least one category ticked and at least uh, one tag on there. Um, the rest of the stuff you can play around with and see what happens, but for now I'm just gonna publish this, publish this. And let's go back and look at our landing site now. Check it out, check out what happened. So now, boom, now that image that we uploaded, now it's getting sucked into our rotating. So now it makes a nice attractive thing to draw people into our um, uh, presentation. So again, here you see the value of the more, right? So we, we're truncating the text so the text doesn't go on forever and ever, but also we're seeing um, the importance of planning this out. So you'll see these blog, these uh, featured images I've made to be the same pixel size, right? So X pixels by Y pixels, boom, boom, boom. This one, I didn't do that, right? I just grabbed a random, a random image and we see it doesn't quite configure right. So a best practice would be to whatever our, whatever our, our featured image is to make sure they're a consistently sized thing um, or to make another copy of that and, and, and make the size consistent, okay? So your first step here, once you're getting familiar, is to do your first blog post. Once that's done, you want to come and edit your about page. We click on it. We can see right now there's a picture of me and some text and some videos. You need at least one picture here and at least one paragraph talking about who you are. The more the better, but at least that. Capstone Research, same thing. You're going to come in, delete these existing pictures add in at least one picture of your own or, or, or video of your own and add in, um, you know, at least a paragraph summary of what the topic is you're addressing with the, with the themes you're exploring. The resume for right now, we're not, we're not getting to that quite yet, so you can leave that blank, but eventually we will replace this with your actual resume. Um, this was just a test page. I'm going to go in since that was just an example thing and I want to delete that. So I'm just going to go to my pages and uh, trash. Cool. Perfect. So there we go. So that's your website. Um, do your first blog post. Make sure you can uh, make everything work. Start to edit. Uh, fix the about. Fix the capstone research. Enjoy your blog, you guys. You're, you're now an official blogger. You now officially control your own presence, your digital identity on the web. Awesome. Can't wait to see what you guys are going to make.